today I'm going to show you how to make brookies. Brookies is a combination of a brownie and a cookie. There are many versions, usually they come in a cookie form, but today I'm going to show you a version which is in a cup, so I call it a brookie cup. Let's get started. For the brownie layer, you need one cup all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon salt, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, three-fourths cup of butter, 225 grams of bittersweet or dark or semi-sweet chocolate, one teaspoon of instant coffee, one cup of white sugar, one half cup of brown sugar, and four eggs. For the chocolate chip cookies, you need one half cup of butter, six tablespoons of brown sugar, six tablespoons of white sugar, one tablespoon of glucose, one egg, one teaspoon vanilla, one and one third cups of purpose flour, one four teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon baking soda, three fourths cup chocolate chips, and if you have nuts, you can add one half cup of chopped nuts, any kind of nut. Today, we're using walnuts. Since brookie is a combination of brownies and cookies, we will start with the brownie layer, okay? There are several versions on how to make the brookie. There's one that looks like a cookie. This one looks like a uh, cup. It looks like a little cupcake, okay? So I have here uh, butter. Before I add the chocolate, I make sure that the butter has started to melt before I add the chocolate. And then low heat because the chocolate will burn. You can also do this in the microwave. Just put together the butter and the chocolate in the microwave. And of course, uh, the finer you chop the chocolate, the faster the chocolate will melt. Once it's almost melted, it's almost melted, see? I'm going to add in the cocoa powder and the coffee. Here, okay, you can see there's just very little bits of chocolate. You can now take this out because the heat can still melt the chocolate completely, okay? So let's take it off the heat. It's completely melted now, so. I'll transfer it here okay next we're going to add in the salt and the sugars the brown and the white sugar okay we'll add the egg one at a time Make sure you mix very well. If the mixture is very, very hot, don't add in the eggs. You wait five minutes before you add in the eggs. Otherwise, you might get scrambled eggs, okay? The chocolate right now is just warm. It's not really hot because remember, I heated it over very, very low fire. And then next. Okay. Just in case, uh, you're supposed to add it one at a time and it so happened the two eggs drop into the bowl. It's all right Just mix it quickly, okay, so here is our mixture and then We will add in our flour okay. After this we're going to make our chocolate chip cookie portion all right we will start with butter your butter should be soft but not melted and then we add in the sugar we have white and brown sugar and then I add in the salt and the vanilla and the light syrup. If you don't have light syrup, or glu uh, you can use glucose. Right, I think this is glucose. All right. 
I'm going to add the baking soda to the flour. And then I have one egg. We don't have to cream this for a long time because we're not making a cake. We just need to mix it enough that they will bind. That's our goal just so they will bind. Alright, see? Once you see the mixture look like this, we can add in the flour now. You add the flour in one uh, dump. Or you can dump in the flour. In this recipe, nuts are optional. You may omit the nuts. Also, the amount of chocolate chips and nuts are, is variable. If you can't want to add more or you want to put in less, it's perfectly all right. All right, once you don't see the flour, okay, so you add in the nuts and the chocolate chips and then just do like maybe uh, five seconds. Okay, 10 seconds is more realistic. Okay, then done. Okay, don't over mix because you will crush the chocolate chips. Okay, let's transfer this to a smaller bowl so it's easier for me to scoop it out. Okay, I'm using a macaron pan. This is uh, what you make. Well, they call this a macaron pan because this is where they make the coconut macarons. Uh, I'm using a number one baking cup. Okay, you may or may not use a baking cup. I use a baking cup for convenience to take it out. If you don't have a baking cup, you have to brush this with shortening, all right? But I like to put a baking cup, all right? I have here two scoops. First, I portion out the brownie mixture before I portion out the cookie okay so we do brownies first we have now portioned our brownie mixture you fill this about three-fourths full because remember the brownie will not rise it has no baking powder okay so in this one I use a smaller uh, a smaller uh, scoop and then I put the bra uh, the cookie on top. All right. By the way, if you don't have a scoop, you don't have to worry because after you bake this, it won't. Uh, I mean, you don't need the round shape of the scoop. Okay, I'm just using the scoop to measure. So we do this uh, today. I'm going to use our big oven because I can't put uh, all three trays in our small in our oven here in the kitchen. So I just want to explain why you can't see me put this inside the oven because our big oven is in another room. I bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's firm you don't have to bake this for a long long time okay because otherwise your brookies I call this brookie cups because as I said normally the brookie is a cookie it's a combination of brownies and cookies so let's put this in the oven I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded here are the brookies from the oven All right okay i took it out like 30 minutes ago so it's not hot anymore so this is the brookie cup okay let me show you one so you see when you bite into it you have the brownie and the chocolate chip cookie all in one it's easy to make i'm sure you can do this mm -hmm.